Whistle with the Wind, his top hat clamped on his red head and his monocle screwed in his right eye, Charlie McCarthy is about two jumps ahead of the truant officer and only two and a half jumps ahead of the spanking. But nobody'd risk hand spanking Charlie, even if he is made of soft pine. But it's a safe bet Edgar Bergen can talk Charlie out of any kind of trouble because it's really Edgar who puts the words in Charlie's mouth. I uh, hope, Edgar, that you have cleared everything with the truant officer and that you have enrolled Charlie in the school. Well, it's not as simple as all that, Don. No, it isn't, no. Well, I've had another letter from Mr. Ransackle, the truant officer, and he's liable to arrive here and get Charlie any minute. <laughs> well, he'll have some time to get me because I've locked all the doors around here and I've swallowed the keys. Oh, I see. <laughs> If he does show up, I'm going to take the air route out of here. The air route? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm leaving through the ventilator. <laughs> well, now, listen, young man. Uh-huh. I, I don't want to be any part of this. Oh, no, listen. You're only cheating yourself out of an education. Is that so? Yes. Now, don't count on me for protection, for I'm not going to be a part of this scheme of yours. How is that all? No. Well, suppose I do go to school. Suppose I do. So what? Well... It means a great deal to have your name read Charlie McCarthy, LLD, or PhD. Yes. Now, what's up to you how it's going to read? Yes. Well, I like Charlie McCarthy, RFD, RFD. <laughs> For that matter, I've already had a title of MD. MD? Yeah, mental deficient. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you're all right, Charlie. I think so, yes. Yes. <laughs> There are just a few wheels out of order up here in your head. Uh, well, I'll keep my hat on. It won't show. No. <laughs> but, young man, you can't hide ignorance. No. No. Every time you speak, you reveal your knowledge or your lack of knowledge. Is that so? Yes. For example, if a man should come up to you and say, Will you borrow me $10? Yes. What do you think of that? Very little. Very little. Very little. <laughs> you know he lacks education. Yes. Why? Well, if he had any sense at all, he'd know I didn't have ten bucks. I <laughs> now, if he should say, can you loan me ten dollars, what's the difference? There's no difference at all. <laughs> I'm still broke. I... <laughs> at school, I was known as a three-letter man. I owe you. I... <laughs> a shameful record. Oh, yes, that's uh... yes. uh, what, uh, what kind of a student were you, Mr. Bergen? Well... In all my school years, I can boast of a record of never having failed in any subject. Yeah? Can you say the same? Well, uh, uh, yes, uh, but not with such a straight face. <laughs> I don't know if I don't go to school, the truant officer comes after me. And if I do go, they flunk me out. Yeah. Life is complicated, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's so complicated that I think if a person is lucky, he isn't born at all. Of course, that seldom happens. <laughs> How do you do, gentlemen? Can you tell me where I could find Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy? Uh, yes, us is them. I mean, we are those. Uh, I'm it. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, look, which one is which? Well, that's him, and I'm me. <laughs> well, wh which one is the stupid one? Well, there's been a good deal of discussion about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to talk to you if I'm not intruding. Oh, not at all. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am Mr. Ramshackle, the truant officer. Oh, what? get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't you dare to interrupt us. Here. Oh, so you're Charlie McCarthy, hmm? No, no, not me. My name is Exo Carlson. I just came over here three years ago. <laughs> Now, look, you can't fool me, McCarthy. Why don't you tell the truth? Why don't you blow your nose? <laughs> I guess you don't know what I'm here for, hmm? Huh? Well, what are you going to do, Mr. Ramshackle? And there's only one road for me to take. Why don't you take it? <laughs> you think the high road and I'll take the alley? All right. That boy must come with me. I'll go, but if you take me away from Bergen, I'll never say another word. <laughs> That boy is saying he needs a schooling. Uh -huh. That is shown by his marks forwarded from New York. That's they read D in spelling, D in arithmetic, D in deportment, and D in effort. 
Uh, I would spec out after you. <laughs> There's very little to be said for that. Nothing but D's. Very little to be said for that. Well, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah, but it doesn't read very well. D, 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 D. Uh, it sounds better if you sing it. D, 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 D. your experience in the baboon cage. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> well, Charlie, he's pretty good. <laughs> Playing a swell time there. Yeah. Now, don't tell me, Mortimer, that you like being in there with the baboons. Well, sure. You did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they treated me like, um, kinfolk. They did. <laughs> Besides that, I had all the peanuts I could eat. Well, that's <laughs> nice. I liked it. It was nice. Do, 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 do. All right, all right. <laughs> but do you know that Charlie ballyhooed you as the only blonde baboon in captivity? No. Yes, he did. <laughs> well, I'm pretty scarce, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Bergen. Well, are you leaving? Oh, i got to go now. Well, why? Well, I'm, I'm half past late already. You are? Mm-hmm. Well, where are you going? Well, back to the cave. Back to the cave? Well, it's our feeding time. Oh, feeding time. <laughs> Tonight we're getting bananas. Oh, I see. Mortimer, how can you be so stupid? Well, there's, um... Uh, there's, um... Well, there's, you. Uh, what was the question? Yeah. How can you be so stupid? Well, ain't that a coincidence? The baboons asked me the same thing. They did, uh, 